Hey y'all and good morning. We have no plans today. So this will probably be a pretty boring vlog, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe something exciting will happen. Right now, Marvin went to go get us a croissant, breakfast croissant, because he wanted one. And he was like, do you want one? And I'm like, sure. So anyway, he went to go get us one. I think he has like a buy one, get one free coupon. And uh, he went next door to go get that. So, because we live next door to a Jack in the Box. I just am looking at a video by Morgan Yates. She does a one second a day for a year video. And I'm gonna copy that idea. I'll give her credit. But I like the idea because I've been vlogging every day since like October or maybe earlier. And why not? I just think it'd be fun to kind of look back, recap of the year. And that's what I'm gonna do. I can't think of anything else because literally nothing else is really going on right now. I'm just updating the cover photo for the Epps Realty page. That's the realty brokerage that I work for. And I'm gonna update um, some of the other Facebook stuff for my realty stuff. <gasps> oh, I forgot I'm out of battery. Okay, well I'm gonna change the battery first. Breakfast check. Oh, no, this is a breakfast croissant, right? Mm -hmm. Breakfast croissant. The supreme croissant. Oh, supreme croissant, because we fancy. Impromptu visit to Elliot's Hardware with my husband. We are in Elliot's Hardware and um, he's already off shopping. We had a list of stuff. I'm going to look at the um, curtain rod hangers and see if I can find one that I want instead of the one that I have. But the one that I have is fine too. I just want to see what my options are. He's going to pick up little things so I can... Um, the little the shelves are held on by these like little bracket things i don't even know what they're called anyway we can't find the ones we have in the garage and i need those in order to hang up the shelves in order to put my stuff on the shelf in order to clean up my office it's kind of like a chain reaction thing and so he's going to get that he's going to get a, something like, like a primer or something for the chairs so anyway lots of things happening today so i am the project person when it comes to the DIY stuff, I'm like the project idea person. Marvin is the project implementer person. And here's an example. So we're looking for like a specific bracket that's flat and goes like that, right? So I was like over here in this section and I saw these, whatever these are called, hook, cup hooks. And I'm like, you could just do that. And he was like, no. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm sure there's a reason why, but I'm like, it would work, right? I don't know. That's why my stuff would probably look wonky and his stuff would look more like intentional. So I'm gonna let him be the project implementer guy. Here's another interesting side note. I told Marvin that I wanted him to hang up the map and the cork board in my office. And he was kind of like, I said, what? Like he was hesitating. <laughs> And I think it's because we've not hung anything up on the walls, so all the walls are like perfect and like clean and just un unmarked. And he's gonna hang something up and it's gonna like be the first nail into the wall. And I'm like, I mean, better him than me because <laughs> clearly, clearly I'm more the idea person. I'm like, I want it here. How it gets up there, I don't know, but that's where I want it. We purchased the shelf hooks. We purchased the hooks for the tote bags that I wanted and we found them in the bathroom supply area. So note to sell. That's where you can also find hooks. And we also purchased primer and something we have to wait on. Oh, the, the so I'm gonna put a curtain up by the cat box area. <laughs> okay, so I've been following Marvin and then he like cuts through there and I'm like, where is he going? And then he was just seeing if I'd follow him around. He's so silly. Uh, anyway, so the, the hooks for the cat uh, window area, um, I don't have the hooks for yet. They had to order those. And then I just saw somebody that I know. She's watching me vlog. So the first project that I'm going to complete today, because I'm actually going to do one of the projects, is I'm going to put these little hooks. They are called shell clips. And that's what I use in my adjustable shelves in my um, bookcase. And 
Marvin said he had some, but anyway, we couldn't find them, so we had to buy the whole big pack. And they actually sell them. These are, um, hold on one second. These come in a pack. It comes with plaster nails and shell clips. We did not need the nails, but whatever. Um, we got the nails, and they are, because I guess in theory you could like nail these into the wall or something, but there is 12 clips and then um, 28 nails. I don't know why you need 28, whatever, I don't know. So that's what they look like. And then you just like squeeze it and then put it in the little bracket area. I'll show you that now. And then you make sure they're even so your shelf is not like wobbly or anything. And then you can put your shelf on it. Sometimes you might need like a pliers or something to squeeze them together if you're not strong. But I think I'm strong, strong enough. Okay, so I got the shelf bracket things installed. Uh, the little bracket hold, what were they called? Cup. What were they called? Cup brackets? I'm gonna go look. Anyway, I got them installed. And I did have to use um, whatever this is called. Kind of like a pliers, but I don't think it's a pliers. I had to use this to kind of squeeze together part of the clip because it was really hard to do. This part right here I had to squeeze together. As you can see, you can't really see like this area unless you're like looking at this level. But if you're standing up, just looking at the shelf, you can't really see it. So the white little clips might be good if you're doing like a shelf higher up that you might see the bottom of it and you want it to be white like the rest of the shelf if your shelf is white. This one's not, so we just got the cheaper one. And I think it was $3.99 and the white ones were like $6.99 or $5.99 or something like that. Not, that, not like a huge difference, um, but aesthetically, aesthetically, it doesn't matter to me on this shelf because it's just, you're not gonna see it. But if it was a higher up shelf, I might get the white ones, but um, I didn't have to because I didn't need that here. So project number one done, now I need to style the shelf. And when I say style, I'll just put all my junk on it. That's all that is. It's nothing fancy. But now I can start putting my stuff up on the shelf and I'm excited about that. Marvin is already painting, priming actually, the Adirondack chairs that I just got. So the Adirondack chairs were actually a gift from my main wall team of Air Force Wing Moms. So I have a team that helps me with all the stuff that I do on the Air Force Wing Moms page. And so they uh, gifted us they sent Marvin some cat, well they sent him a gift card I think. And we in turn gave that to my dad for making these wonderful chairs. They look amazing. So, see? Unless she's gonna make it a table. Yep, oh, so we're gonna have a table to go in between. I have some plastic ones out front and they're cute, but uh, I wanted something a little bit more substantial. And then also my dad made it, so <laughs> that's like an extra bonus, um, an extra more like personal touch, if you will. So I yeah, love them. You have a bookshelf from 1986. Yes, you that you just painted. He's he's saying that I have a bookshelf from 1986 that my dad made. I just showed you guys. I was putting the little shelf things on there. Whatever those are called. What are those called? Cup, Book? cup hooks, cup hooks. I think no, it wasn't cup hooks. What was it? Watch it be cup hooks but I don't think it was called cup, cup, cup hooks. It was called, let's see, drum roll please. Shelf clips. Good old shelf clips, that's what those are. And just put those on, put the shelves up. Now I'm gonna start putting the books and such on there. While Marvin is out here. Sweating. I bet you are sweating, honey. It's humid. It is really humid out here. So he's using the Kilts 2 all-purpose interior exterior primer. It's a multi-surface sealer and stain blocker. Got that at the Elliott's run that we just did. It was part of the Elliott's haul. And so you're doing that and then you're gonna paint with the uh, Sherwin-Williams. Pink. Not pink. Purple? No, I think I was, I was wanting to do them white. No, white. Some towel. White. Saltillo tile? Yes, I want saltillo tile in the back. You're doing a good job, honey. <clears throat> doing it out of love. You're doing it out of love. 
while I'm out and getting, getting sweaty myself. I'm gonna take a look at the backyard. Can't wait till we get the Rubbermaid shells in here. Rubbermaid, I'm talking to you. I'm actually gonna contact them after I finish this contest that I'm doing with them because I really want their opinion on how to do this best. But, so this is our backyard. We don't come here often at all because there's just dirt back here. Grass, is, oh look, grass is growing. Grass is growing, but what I was thinking, I keep like trying to get my, cause my shirt's already sticking to me. Ugh. What I was thinking was in this corner right here, I would put saltillo tile across, I don't know how far, I don't know how far I want to take it, but at least to like right here maybe? I don't know, I kind of need help doing that too, deciding that. But I wouldn't put saltillo tile and make it kind of a flower planter container box area and just put saltillo tile there and then um, gonna put just all different kinds of multicolored pots um, some Mexican pottery, some just plain pottery, and just different shapes and sizes and just make it kind of a, an area back here. Now the problem is, you gotta see how, it, how the sun works because I know you have to be cognizant of that and just kind of checking that out. Our fence line actually doesn't, see where the, um, can you see where the gutter's coming out? Right there. Um, where the gutter is coming out it just goes five feet and then that's our our boundary line it goes to where this cut off tree is right over here I don't know if you can see oh well you know what okay so see where the dying grass is the sod did not take very well back here but anyway this grass where it goes out to that's it that's my boundary line so I just have essentially right here and we're gonna have a fence right right behind me I don't have a whole lot of yard to work with to be honest I mean there is yard and we are gonna fill in a little bit more with some fill dirt but we're gonna have to take down a lot of these trees as well because number one like this one right here to the the fence line it's uh, these trees right around the fence line will affect the fence so we're gonna need to do something with them and we're gonna put up a new fence. They're keeping up their fence, it's Jack in the Box. They're keeping up their fence. We're putting up a new fence and a little bit of a retaining wall. And of course we have this table out here, but we don't use it as much because the grass is just, it's just not, I don't know. I don't know if we're keeping that table or not. It just kind of depends on how things work out after we put in the fence and fill in it with some more dirt. But up here, I like this, but I was thinking of moving that off of here and just putting two chairs and a smaller table and that definitely needs to be power washed by the way and then putting that little container planter garden area right over there by the windows and the um because it's just not going to be pretty to look out at but then also that's where the master bedroom is that set of windows right there so i kind of want to put something along there as well so maybe i'll just like make a saltillo tile like path all the way across but again we'd have to build up the the area a little bit so we'll see these are all nice wonderful grand ideas but again they only work <laughs> if we actually like we got to get the fence up then we got to fill in some dirt before we start doing the decorating part we want to get the core of the foundation stuff done first and that's it the garage is still a mess because we're going to be getting rid of a lot of that stuff right there is either going to the granddaughter or being sold. We have some bookcases over there. So once we get the fence, and then once I get the organization, the Rubbermaid um, things installed in here, then we'll be able to put some of the stuff up against the walls, out of the way, and it'll be fantastic. Hey babe, you need some water? Yeah, or a Powerade or something. Or a Powerade. Hey y'all, when I talked to you this morning, I said we have no plans this weekend, and that was a total lie, because we actually do have plans. We have, um, well, we didn't plan to go to Elliott's, but we ended up going to Elliott's, but there's a rodeo tonight and Mark Chestnut's playing and we're supposed to go. So I completely forgot about that. And then tomorrow, my brother-in-law is having a pool party because he just built a new pool and it looks amazing in the pictures. So we have that tomorrow and I'm like, oh, 
and I've got sit and sip in the morning with the ladies from church. I'm like, I do have things planned this weekend. So I'm gonna get my bottom to the store and pick up a few things. And then I'm gonna work on getting all the posts created for today's done, tomorrow's almost done, and then Monday so that I can just kind of relax and not worry about posting until Monday. So yeah, I've got some things today, so let's go to the store. Headed into Tom Thumb now. Gonna get a 12 pack of Dos Equis and a six pack of Dos Equis. One for the house and one for the party tomorrow that we're going to. I just found out that we gotta meet up at the office at 6.45 to go to the rodeo tonight. The concert follows the rodeo, so I might take a nap before we go. I could not decide what I wanted for like, lunch dinner i mean it's really past lunch but we had a late breakfast so anyway just couldn't decide like <sighs> so i got a hot chocolate from starbucks plus my throat y'all is like feeling like it's trying to get sore like i'm trying to get sick i don't have time for that i think i told y'all this yesterday too i just feel like <clears throat> like i don't know like i'm trying to get sick and i just don't have time for that now i'm gonna go home and I'm actually going to figure out what I'm going to wear this evening because we have to be up at the office. We're all meeting at the office that are going to the Red Iron concert tonight. We're meeting up at the office at 645. And so that's in one, two, three, four, five, six, five hours. So if I need to lay down and rest because the concert doesn't start until after the rodeo is over. So that's not until like nine or 10 o'clock. It's kind of late to be honest. Because I'm old now, I guess. I don't know. I just feel like that's like really late. I don't know. But that's hot. So I need to go figure out what I'm going to wear. And then also figure out um, like what time I need to get up, get ready. If I have time to edit any more videos. Because I've put up two yesterday. I'm going to put up two today. I'm almost done with the second one. So get that done for today. And so that's like four videos in like two days. That's not too bad. Although really to get back on track, I need to do about 12 videos a day. <laughs> that's way too much but anyway I'll get there I'm getting there I am getting there won't take me that long I'll get there we're at the Mesquite Rodeo and um, we already went up to the suite but they didn't have liquor up in the upstairs bar so now we gotta try to find the liquor because <laughs> I want some rum and pineapple juice found a bar <laughs> back home I am tired I feel like I'm getting a cold cats have eaten all their dry food so I'm gonna get them some more food and then we're gonna go to bed the concert was fun and we had a good time and tomorrow's another day we have a um, pool party to go to tomorrow my brother-in-law Marvin's brother built a pool and from what we saw it looked like it was gonna be gorgeous so it'll be exciting to kind of go see it I don't think I'll swim though. I think I'll just take a book or something. I don't know, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun to kind of go hang out, but uh, that's what we're gonna do. So don't forget, be kind to others, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.